Hi, Todd Atlas with the SoundPure Recording Studios here to talk about the Neumann KM184 microphones and then get in the studio and record some acoustic guitars. The 180s series consists of KM183 Omni as well as the KM185 hypercardioid. And these microphones can be purchased as singles or in a stereo kit. This is a SKM184 stereo kit of KM184 microphones and this is our actual recording studio set here at SoundPure. These microphones are a favorite for all sorts of acoustic purposes, including drum overheads, hi-hats, any form of acoustic instruments, a lot of stereo room miking techniques, whether you're using XY or ORTF. You can put them on a choir, you can spot mic percussion, strings. They're extremely versatile, very, very detailed, with a lot of great top end. The microphone's very, very smooth and rich, as you'll hear soon on acoustic guitar. Today we're going to do some acoustic guitar recording with the Neumann Cam 184s. These microphones are the world standard, partly because they're actually amazingly well priced for what they are, but also because um, of the way that they sound. They have a bit of top end, um, they can be a little bit bright, but the microphones are very, very smooth and well balanced. Um, today we've chosen a positioning that's slightly non-traditional, um, and it's something that tends to work well in a really great sounding room. You probably don't want to, if you're already having room problems, you probably don't want to use this kind of mic positioning. Um, but sort of as we would with an XY pair, one of the microphones is positioned um, off, slightly off axis at the 12th fret, and the second microphone is over the shoulder. Um, between the two, this tends to capture more low end, whereas this microphone captures a little bit more articulation at the string level and some more direct bass out of the, out of the guitar. You do have to be careful with proximity uh, relative to one another to make sure that you don't have phase problems as you do with any space to microphone technique. being super buttery and smooth in the mid-range, um, as well as having a nice uh, bright and present top end, make them a great complement for acoustic guitar. But we've chosen a couple of mic preamps to complement with them so that the mic preamps aren't overly hyped in the top as well because the two can be a little bit harsh together. Um, we've chosen the Anthony Barra ADL600 tube mic pre. The ADL600 has a lot of detail for a tube preamp because it has such high voltage on the plate. A lot of articulation and detail come through in ways a lot of tube preamps tend to get a little muddy with. So again, although a tube preamp, a really nice complement for the detail and brightness of the 184s. I think together you'll find that it'd be a really smooth, warm, thick, mid-rangey uh, sound. The 184 is based on the 84, the original KM84, which is a microphone that Neumann released in the 70s. The 84 has a very, very extended flat frequency response up into the upper frequency ranges, whereas the 184 has a big boost at 9 kilohertz. That gives you a lot of top end, a lot of brightness, 
and tends to be very, very useful in terms of cutting instruments through the mix. Um, acoustic instruments of all kind where you want a lot of detail and articulation. the A Designs MP2A tube preamp today, which has a little bit of tube warmth, although still a very, very detailed tube microphone preamp, so we can capture all of the detail, all the harmonic interest of the instrument. The transformer circuitry of the KM184s provide a little bit better frequency response, a little bit better detail, and overall improved signal to noise ratio over the original 84s, which make these what Neumann considers to be the new and improved version of the KM84. The 184, whether you buy the single or the stereo kit, include the windscreens, the stand mounts, and then the microphones themselves. If you do get the stereo kit, you also get this beautiful Neumann wooden jeweler's box.